Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about the Forensic Nightmare SMG. Bungie inadvertently skipped Forensic Nightmare when we adjusted the zoom of other SMGs. So they actually corrected it. They increased the Forensic Nightmare zoom from 13 to 14. So essentially, it now has slightly more range, which means it's going to feel a little bit better in the Crucible. It's currently the only craftable SMG in the kinetic slot that's 600 RPMs. So this is a precision frame, recoil pattern more predictably vertical. It actually does stasis damage so you can roll things like headstone on it for those stasis builds. There's only a couple other precision frames in the kinetic slot. You got the friction fire and the Enyo D, but you can't craft these two SMGs, which makes it much harder to get the roll that you want on them. Now, what perks should you craft on this SMG? Well, you definitely want a barrel and magazine perk that increases the range. Hammer Forge is going to give you plus 10 to range. Full Bore is going to give you a plus 15 to range, but it's going to hurt your handling and stability. So I would say go with Hammer Forged. For the magazine perks, you got ricochet rounds and high caliber rounds and armor piercing rounds that all increase your range but ricochet rounds increases your range and your stability and you can actually bounce bullets around corners which is really helpful in the crucible then in the first column of trait perks you've got slideways perpetual motion encore heating up under pressure and grave robber perpetual motion is a good perk to have because you don't actually need to get a kill to get it to activate all you need to do is be continuously moving and after two seconds you get a plus five stability handling and five reload and after continuously moving for 10 seconds you get plus 15 stability 15 handling and 15 reload and if you have the enhanced version of this perk stacks remain for up to one second after being still as opposed to a half a second there's also heating up final blows with this weapon increase accuracy and stability while improving vertical recoil, very good on an SMG. But if you really want to increase the base stats on this SMG, I would say go with Encore. This perk states that final blows grant a stacking stability, range, and accuracy bonus to this weapon. Precision final blows grant more stacks. One precision kill adds 10 range per stack up to 30 range at three stacks. A non-precision kill removes one stack. If at zero stacks, it improves accuracy and grants 30 stability. It lasts for seven seconds. You can refresh it on a kill and the enhanced version buffs the duration so bungie already buffed the range on this slightly and once you get this perk proc it's going to give you a plus 10 up to three stacks very good perk in my opinion makes it much more easy to land your shots from a further distance away and that's what matters in the crucible i would definitely say craft the enhanced version of encore but if you don't want to have to rely on getting a kill go with perpetual motion in the last column you've got sympathetic arsenal thresh swashbuckler headstone harmony and kill clip swashbuckler's not bad this weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon and since you're going to be pretty close to your enemies anyways it's not that hard to get a melee kill off like i said if you got a stasis build headstone stays at precision final blows spawn a stasis crystal at the victim's location but for the crucible i would definitely say go with kill clip reloading after a kill grants increased damage it's a 25 percent increase in damage and they actually reworked this perk so you can actually refresh this after every kill gonna bring that precision damage all the way up to 30 allowing you to melt guardians in the crucible so guardians here's what the god roll is looking like with hammer forged ricochet rounds enhanced encore enhanced kill clip and a range masterwork you're looking at 75 range which gives you up to 21 meters before damage drop off and remember since we got enhanced encore after every kill our range is only going to increase up to 30 so you're going to be able to get even more out of this SMG. Played with this SMG for a while in the Crucible. It's definitely feeling better. It's definitely a contender. And I think you guys should craft it for yourselves and give it a try. If you guys do, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. That's it for the review portion. I'm going to jump into the Crucible so I can show you guys how this performs. But before we do, check out this graph. If you're watching this video, you're probably not subscribed. What are you doing? Subscribe to the channel for more Destiny 2 content. Follow me over on Twitch because that's where I recorded all this footage live over there. Now, Guardians, let's get into this. I had kill clip. <laughs> oh, the only reason I won that.
This guy again. That's that same Titan. He's <laughs> running straight at us. There he was again. <laughs> same Titan. Oh, I had kill clip. Nice. <laughs> he slid into that. He slid into that. Oh, he walked into that. <laughs> Bro, I don't even have to aim. These guys are just walking into it. Oh, they out here. Oh, here it comes! Here it comes, Chad! <laughs> oh, no. Oh. There he is! <laughs> oh, come on, I try to do the slide. Ouch. <laughs> that dude flinched me into his head. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Steak. Let's clip that, bro. Let's clip that. Dude, I saw them all in there and I was just like, they just need to be a little bit weak. <laughs> I'm going to slide into their DMs. Oh. Thank God. No, no, oh, he was right there. I'm out. <laughs> Just like that, chat. Just like that. No, get me out. Damn. 